president himself, Donald Trump. Yeah, it was truly a historic moment uh, indeed. Caitlin Poland, uh, stay with us. I also want to bring in uh, defense attorney Shan Wu. Shan, what does it suggest to you that this federal special counsel, Jack Smith, actually sat in during the grand jury testimony? Well, well um, besides the historic nature, as Caitlin just pointed out, and I think his presence there uh, is out of deference to that, possibly. From a prosecutorial and defense counsel standpoint, it signals this is a leader of an investigation who is very active, very operational. As Caitlin was saying, very rare for the leader of such an operation, a special counsel, to be personally sitting there in the grand jury room during that testimony. And I think it signals uh, that he's, it's a very vigorous style of leadership. I mean, it's a little bit of a contrast to the approach we saw in the Mueller investigation, where from what we understand and from what I personally saw, Mueller himself did not participate in most of the interviews, leaving that to his staff. Mueller, of course, coming from being the head for many years of the FBI, a very large institution, different place in his career um, than Smith, who was very much coming to this from being an operational prosecutor. So I think we're seeing a contrast in those styles. Yes, indeed. Uh, Caitlin, uh, Pence is a, clearly a central witness in this criminal investigation of Trump. But have we seen new testimony after his? We have, Wolf. So there has been quite a bit uh, of, of uh, difficulty for the Justice Department to get Pence in before the grand jury. It took them quite a bit of time. We know that he came after many, many other sought after witnesses following a court order, getting him there. But even uh, in the last couple of days, we saw others testifying in this same January 6th probe being conducted by Jack Smith. Just yesterday at the federal courthouse, Dan Scavino and his attorneys were there. Dan Scavino, of course, was the deputy chief of staff in the Trump White House at the end, he managing social media. And I do understand he was being asked uh, about that, about January 6th, because he was being compelled by a court to go testify there. So Scavino comes in. And also, I've heard from many sources that in the coming weeks, days even, there are other witnesses scheduled related to this January 6th investigation being conducted by Smith. Well, yeah. And Shan, uh, do you think the special counsel, Jack Smith, will continue his more hands-on role in other key testimony going forward? Um, he may. I think it probably depends on the individual witness, whether he would be there or not. But I think his mere presence signals he has a very hands-on role in directing the operation. Now, no, the caution, not always good <laughs> to have the top person be too hands-on. You might compare uh, Durham, Special Counsel Durham's sort of flailing efforts at leading the investigation. But there are very different kinds of prosecutors, and Smith's reputation precedes him. I think this really signals that he has a very steady and active hand on the controls of this investigation. Does it, uh, Shan, does it give you any indication about how the special counsel is progressing in this, uh, in his investigation of Trump? I don't think his presence signals that, Wolf, but the pace at which we're seeing these witnesses go in now, it's almost like, you know, the spig has been turned on at, at this point. So I think it tells us a lot about the speed. Yeah, good point. Chan Wu, Caitlin Polance, guys, thank you very much. Coming up.